It says challenge ER Durkey and Company. I'm a bitch. Wait, you shut up. Flask. Bubbled up. Oh, they're testing me. Whew. 1907, by the way. Oh, there's an old, an old furred steering wheel. Meh, meh. Yellow. How you doing, folks? We are live. Yes, good old Hurricane Ian did not defeat us. I see all the messages out there from you folks, and don't worry about it. We are a-okay. Now, on the other hand, there's a lot of good old folks down there in South Florida that are decimated. Everything gone. Horrible, horrible thing down there. So send your uh, prayers or look into FEMA or something for those folks down there. So there's a lot of people that need generators and all sorts of things. So yeah, just keep it up in there in your thinking cap. We are back. We're out here. You haven't seen it yet because the last time we were here, we kind of had a, a video, showed you the old Ferd F-150. That was awesome. But uh, we were mainly here to find bottles. And we did find some bottle pits, but they were 1960s. So we're back again. We'll probably throw those clips in here um, to show you what we found that day. And we're hoping to find a big... Will you shut up? Yeah. Oh, they're testing me. Sorry about the rude interruption. Let's see what we find, folks. Try to find a bottle pit. I got a brick somewhere in here, but uh, there's a bunch of rock, but I just popped out a bottle, and it's got embossing all over it. It says challenge, E.R. Durkey and Company. Sauce. That's pretty freaking sweet. It's pretty wonky. E.R. Durkey and Company. Nice clear bottle. The seam, I don't know. I don't know how to tell on these crown tops. But uh, yeah, it's definitely like 1900. It's got stuff in it. And there's a beautiful, beautiful old house here. There's all you get to see of it. It's uh, not much to look at, but we're on the side, right down here, next to a beautiful, beautiful old furred in the background back there. We'll go check that out later. Oh, we might make another little video on that old furred. But hell yeah, let's keep on digging. One brick. Whatever the hell that is, that almost looks like it's off of a freaking fifth wheel or something. Spark plug, Atlas, no idea how old it is. Could be 20s, could be 60s, 462. I found my first bottle and I finally might be on a pit. Let's get back through the thorns here. I heard a lot of crunchies and a cork top just popped out. Right here. Oh yeah, that's a nice cork top. Pink with big bubbles in her. We got rookie stuff. Hopefully it's not a fluke. Let's get set up here and just start digging. I just found some embossed glass right behind here. It's almost like it's all on the surface and then you get deep and it's like nothing. 
It is rock and burnt stuff, but yeah. I'm gonna poke right here for a second. Oh, congratulations. That's freaking sweet. Tropicana orange juice, 100% pure pasteurized. Sweet. And it ain't broken either. It's got a little bit of embalsing on it. No deposit. Florida. Made in USA. Florida. No. Fluid ounces. 10. Made in USA. Sweet. Like 50s or 60s, but... Milk bottle era. That might be 60s even. Yeah. It's got a barcode, so that can't be that old. I don't know when barcodes came along. Poor, poor turkeys. They're stuck. They don't know how to get out. Go this way, dudes. Go that way. Oh. Go this way. Go that way. You got two turkeys that don't know how to get out. <laughs> They're stuck. Go that way. Dum dums. Go around. Oh, you dummies. Go out. There you go. You can fly. <laughs> Folks, we're finally on it. We got an old drinking glass here, an old Atlas Mason drinking glass. It's all cracked up, but that's okay. A lot of people are. Ruth just found a uh, valve stem, an old Schrader valve stem cover off of an old tire. Put this instead of the, like, the new plastic ones we have now. Oh. Bottle. No way. Oh, it's melted. A little medicine bottle. Yeah, they definitely burned this pit. A little melted medicine bottle. Bummer. Bottle. <laughs> I knew there'd be something over here. Another Atlas Mason jar, drinking glass. We got some sort of big old piece of iron down here. It's uh, that blue colored, uh, whatever the hell you call it. It's like a kettle or something, but it was blue. Oh my goodness. Oh, bowl. Yep. That's Horse neat. Stuff. Can't remember what you call this. Porcelain? No, not porcelain. Porcelain's like white. Uh, this is iron stuff. Can't remember. Oh, bottle. It's French's. Again, flipping tea. 1914, 1915, February 23rd, 1915. French's. It's French's. That's what it says. Old mustard jar. 
yellow mustard. I think you're killing it. Corky. I can't believe it. It's melted. That's cool. Melted bad? Yeah, not too bad. 100 cc, 3ii, I believe. Generic, nothing crazy. Neato. If there's any more. Oh, yeah, bottle right here. Oh, hot damn, a little flask. Sweet. It is not a strap side, but it's a cool little flask. Bubbled up. Bitchin'. Leave it to you. I dug this area out right here, over there. And you come along and find three bottles so far. How many bottles did you find? Shit, shit, oh, hell yeah. Oh. Another plain Jane flask. All right, that's it. I got to move. Melted a little bit. I'm coming out. This way? It's, uh, yeah, like around this area. A little bluey. Pink stoneware. I've never seen pink stoneware. Nikes. Finally got it. Yeah, that's a shock. Damn. Don't work anymore. Yeah, that's a big old shock. Of a vehicle. Ooh. Not getting glass out of here though. Whew. Oh god. Well, oh, going down. We got some good stuff here. Let's show you what we found. Nothing crazy, but a couple goodies. Let's check her out. All right. Well, we got our 1915, it's French's mustard jar. Nice. We got our semi-melted little wreath like a 3ii sort of thing 100 cc refillable pharmacy medicine bottle that's like a part of a leaf spring off of an old car i do believe an old model t or something mason jar we got a beautiful flask semi-melted she's a beaut definitely wonky Got another one. Yeah. Not too shabby at all. Definitely post 1900. Ugh. That's bottom of like a big old uh, mason jar. And we got this. I can't remember what the hell these things are called, but uh, yeah, a big old pail type deal thingamajigger or whatnot what you call it i normally remember what these are called i just can't remember 
plus the two orange juices from last time and the sauce bottle that's the piece de la resistance but uh yeah we got some flasks she's a beaut clark